Previously on Men's Health Next Top Trainer. Gentlemen, welcome to the Tough Workout. Men's Health Pro Fit, all right? Who better to bring men's health to life than the guy who's been bringing it to life? Please pack your bags. We want you to come back tomorrow and get ready to teach a 30 minute workout from the DVD that you pitched today. It's called the Big Finish, fellas. <laughs> Championship game. Leave it all on the field, no regrets. Finally, we got a chance to let it out, show these guys what we came here for. Welcome back, Andy, Graham. How are you guys doing? Great. Doing good. You guys are our last two finalists. One of you will be the next top trainer. You'll get to contribute to Men's Health Magazine and you'll also get to star in your own fitness DVD. Now today, you can see that we have special guest judge David Jack back with us, and we also have a fourth guest judge. He knows a little something about the ins and outs of creating best-selling DVD products. Sean T. Hey! <laughs> What's up, guys? I didn't see that one coming at all. <laughs> that was a huge surprise. He's uh, <laughs> one of my favorite people. How you doing? How's it going? <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Graham, nice to meet you, man. What's up, man? Nice to meet you. How's it going? Going great. Pleasure. To be the next top trainer, you have to have one major thing, and that's the want for people out there to succeed. You guys have a competition <laughs> to get to. The most important thing I want you to remember as you go through this, you have to just walk out there and be yourself 100% because that's where you're going to feel your best. And the way you feel is what's going to translate to the people out there. I'm going to be looking for them to look through the camera to motivate the people at home because after I see them do this, I'm going to want to do their workout. You know your stuff. You have your style. Live in that and be 100% who you are. Because the more unique people we have out there that are in this space of fitness and health and motivating people, the better. When he came out and we were standing there, it added pressure. It was like, oh, sh 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 like, oh man, like, you know? Things he said kind of put me at ease a little bit. One, two, three. Motivation. Motivation. Let's go, guys. All right. Congratulations. Do the best you can do. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. Thank you, man. All right, guys, let's do it. All right, so we've got four awesome judges for you guys today. Your task is to take what you guys told us in your DVD concept yesterday, pick one of those workouts, and perform it for the judges today as if you were doing your DVD workout. Okay, are you guys ready? Ready, ready. Okay, so we randomly selected a name. Graham, you will be going first. Okay. Let's do it. Andy, you can head back to the locker room. This is probably the highest possible pressure situation you can ask for. We need them to be confident. The bar is set so high at the brand you either rise up to it or you fade away fast. You have to want people to succeed. You have to be creative in your thought processes when you go out there and train people. I knew that if I overthought it, I would probably run into some walls. All right, Graham, good luck. You got 30 minutes to inspire the world. Three, two, one, begin. Welcome to the Complete Athletic body workout. So let's go arm circles, 10 big circles forward, okay? Now let's go, chunk twist. I want you to imagine that you're standing in front of a wall, okay? Keep your nose on that wall. Gave a lot of energy, I had fun, I was myself. You know, those are pretty much the things that everybody told me to do. He's chasing you, she's chasing you. They can't catch you, they won't catch you. TBS, what's that stand for? Technique builds strength. Drink water. We used to have a saying where I used to work. Two drink minimum in my club. I was just so amped up, I, I couldn't even stand still. Why is my heart rate up? We're not running around that much. What are we doing? Sending that blood up, sending that blood down, working our total body. It's not about being perfect. It's about trying to be perfect and flag it up. Flag it up, show that national pride, let's go. Yeah, flag it up. It was just me and the cameras, and I was just trying to get myself through the workout. Last round. Do whatever you have to do to get it done. This burns my shoulders too, but this is making sure I look good. This is making sure I function good. Yeah, let it burn. This is what we did all that work for. If you're not challenging, you're not changing. I think I did really well. Obviously, there's always room for improvement. There's a lot of room for improvement, especially when you've never done it before. We're almost at the finish line. Don't crawl to the finish line. 
Sprint to the finish line. Eight seconds. Ooh, my biceps are burning. All that work I did. Four, three, two, one. Time. Yes. Ah, uh, great job. Thank you. Thank you. You can go back to the locker room. You guys are amazing Thank doing you, this Greg. stuff all the time. Three, four, five times a day. <laughs> Hats off. <laughs> Thanks again. You your first yeah. one, man. Congrats. I know. Congrats. Appreciate man. you. I'm not even reviewing what I did. It's over. I did it. I did as best as I could. And I hope that I've done enough to this point that warrants me, you know, being the next top trainer. Come in today. I was, I was feeling good, man. All right, Andy, you got 30 minutes. Show us what you got in three, two, one. Yeah. What's up, baby? Andy Spear back at you. You guys ready to roll? So let's start a little warm up. I just want you to get loose. Just get loose here, guys. Shake it out. Five push ups with me. Let's hit it for one. You're listening to me. I see you. Hoo ya. My intention today was to show the judges that I have an on camera personality, and I think I did that. You can't cut me in half with a chainsaw right now. Can you feel it? Come on, we're getting there. We're only three minutes in, and we're already feeling like this. I want you squeezing the juice out of this steel, all right? I want you making dumbbell lemonade with this shit. Come on, drive it up and squeeze. <laughs> Same thing, other side. Got to even it out. Don't want any of that mountain goat stuff, one leg bigger than the other. Here we go, guys, come on. Whoo, yeah. Whatever I had in me was going to come out. Hey, check it. You want to work your backside a little bit more? Get that booty. Bow, there we go, baby. Come on, just go one. Sheet of paper higher. Ed, squeeze, come on, come on. That was tough for me. I can only imagine how hard it was for you and you push through every second. But give me a little squeeze, a little butt squeeze. That's it, a little butt squeeze. A little ab, that's it. And just push it forward, baby. I was gassing out in my own workout, um, but you know, I, I feel like I handled it relatively well. Guys, we got about 30 seconds to collect your thoughts before we get rip rocking and rolling in our cardio ab crusher. Arms are bent. We're not toy soldiers, guys. We are athletes. Come on, hit it. Come on, hit it. Come on, hit it. Come on, hit it. That's it. Keep pushing. Abs are tight. Glutes are tight. Everything's tight. Arms are moving. Back to rig. Back down. Come on. Back down. Come on. Stay with me. Come on. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come on. It was a little pressure in the sense that it's like, you know, when people you really look up to in the industry are giving you a chance to show them what you got. Hoo ya! Those last people fire up. Need to love. Same thing Booyah before. Baby. Elbows tucked in. They're gonna have to love those together. Words. Let's hit it. Come on, guys. This is it. This is it. I want 40 more seconds. All you got. I am drenched in sweat. I believe you are too. So I want you to push through. I want you to do it for me. Do it for you. Do it because every step, every rep, everything you do in here is gonna make you a healthier, fitter, better person out there. Five, four, three. Two, done. Woo yeah! Yeah, baby. No, no, no. It's Woo yeah! You can go back to the locker room, yeah. brother. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Great job. Great Give great everything, job, man. Andy. Way to push. There's not anything I would have done different. Hey, guys. Final challenge done. The judges want to give you guys some critiques about each of your performances before we make our final decision. Graham. It was something else that was, you know, it was a little uh, shaky at the start. I think you came out kind of nervous. And you could see from when you started, you got progressively better. You got more comfortable. If this isn't a full body exercise, I don't know what is. I think you can be great. You can be as great as you want to be. And I think we got a glimpse of that today. The, the user wants to be sweaty, sore, and tired. They want to feel like the whole body got something. And, and the workout you programmed effectively did that. Without having a lot of experience, or almost zero experience of being on cameras and being in a DVD situation, you naturally did some things really well. You brought a little bit of yourself in. You started to let them know that you were with them. You were drinking with them, like them. Two drink minimum in my club. It's a two drink minimum in my club. Um, so there was some of that stuff that came out where we could see your personality um, and we could see that you have the ability to step into this space. It's not about being perfect. It's about trying to be perfect. Your energy was like off the charts. You can tell you were a little nervous at the start, but for me, I come from a place of digging deep and you have to, you were fighting through that barrier. The workout was amazing. I'm like, this workout is really dope. Like, it's, it's so sick, I wanna do it. I think it just could have been like polished a little better. Overall, 
I want to say this, and this is coming from a person that's done through over 300 DVDs. Like, to step out there and to do what you did today, I'm like, hats off to you. Like, you did an amazing job. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's talk about Andy's performance. Adam? So, Andy, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. You know, you put it, we told you to put it all out here, and you did. You said, you can't cut me in half with a chainsaw right now. Which is such a great, you know, I know that I'm, I'm just core, stiff, everything's rock solid. Um, and you also said, uh, you know, just, just get one sheet of paper higher. That is so motivating because it's just, I just got to get a little bit more. I'm going to get that much more out of the, the exercise. So I think that was great. Same thing, other side, got to even it out. Don't want any of that mountain goat stuff, one leg bigger than the other. Can you show me how mountain goat walks? <laughs> I got to do 21 lunges on one leg first and okay. forget about the other one. But. I mean, look, I, 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 there's a point when I looked at Adam, I'm like, I didn't know he, uh, I mean, he was funny. Uh, that goofiness, that levity and the tough moments, that's how they push through. It's memorable, it's viral. There was probably only a handful of people on the planet that could push the way you did and speak through it. That's it, keep pushing. Abs are tight, glutes are tight, everything's tight, arms are moving. It got a little bit scary like that. I mean, I've never seen someone push. There was a moment I think we all kind of held each other. The programming was really good. I think it was super challenging. And in the end, I think you got surprised by your own workout to an extent. It's, it's going to be interesting, man. This, this choice is not going to be easy. I love just your motivational stop. You did great, really great, really creative. And um, I would love to try some dumbbell lemonade. Woo! <laughs> Delicious. <Hey. laughs> you can head back to the locker room just a little while longer while the judges make this tough decision. I feel like overall they liked what I gave them. Now comes the hard part, the waiting. I could do without a heart attack today, I, I'll tell you. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of them so far. All right, guys, the contestants just finished their final challenge, the 30-minute DVD workout. Let's get started. Graham went first. How did you guys think he did? I thought Graham, you know, he started slow. I wasn't sure, like, how that was going to go. And then he just kept getting better and better. And by the end, I was a believer that he can do this. He had his presence, he had intensity, he was making some one-liners in there. Uh, just a guy that like unlimited potential, but the word that's been thrown around all week is just raw, super raw. Uh, ready now, I don't know, but man, he's a guy you can just mold into something really special. Yeah, he came, he brought everything that he had, he was the best that he could be in the moment. What I loved about him was he just naturally found the camera, and you can't teach that and he hasn't had experience with it, which so it really stood out to me. I think one of the amazing things that Graham did was give us everything he got. He had tons of equipment. You saw many different exercises. You, his knowledge of exercise and being a trainer came out. I think that he's very intelligent. One of the things about the workout, though, I was very confused until the last 10 minutes. I wouldn't have known what was going on if I didn't really pay close attention. I thought I was just in a workout doing something and I would leave the workout being like hmm what did I do exactly but I think he has amazing potential he's extremely likable and I think that people are going to be really inspired it by could him. be the next top trainer mm -hmm. so Shanti how did that compare to Andy's performance he was very creative with his moves and he was really motivational one of the things that I think Andy needs to work on is that if he's starting to get tired he needs to t take the break and actually talk to the camera and say, okay guys, you can do it. Talk to the people at home. People want to see you take a break and let you know that you're a real person and give more attention to the people who are watching. And if it's that hard for you as a trainer, it's probably that much harder at home too. Right, so. and the delivery of that is very important. One of the things that he said, I know it's hard for me. It's definitely got to be hard for you. That was tough for me. I can only imagine how hard it was for you. And there's a way you can say it where you don't demean the person. You could just say, I know this is really tough, but we have to work together to do this, and I want you to try to do better. He didn't just have general exercise selection. He used basic exercises and created his own spin on them. He had his own terms for them. Clearly has a handle on what it means to be a next top trainer from a coaching standpoint, period. What I'd love to see more with Andy is, as he continues to grow and evolve is getting out of some of because he's so passionate about getting it right and owning the skill and honoring that knowledge that he can get mechanical with that. So he become a little bit robotic. He didn't find the cameras. He didn't flow to them naturally. So I would just love him to get to a place where he can continue to grow into, I own this. I know this. I have it. I just want to give it to you and I just want to invite you in here. Just play with me. It was funny. 
I thought he was just a plain, boring robot when it came to the, the experience side of things. And there were like three legitimate things that, I mean, I really laughed. I, I've never seen that type of push uh, before. Um, yeah, I, I agree with all that. And I mean, that said, if I never hear, hoo again, yeah. it'll be too soon. <laughs> hoo hoo here we go, baby. Here we go, baby, baby, baby. Woo! That's right, baby, come on, baby. <laughs> so have we found our next top trainer? I think we've absolutely found our next top trainer. Absolutely, all right. Hey guys. Welcome to the final elimination. We are about to find out who Men's Health Next Top Trainer is. First, Andy, tell us what's going through your mind right now. Seeing all these guys up here, <laughs> that man Sean showing up today was just like blew me away. <laughs> Thought I was good until I started talking, and now I, you know what, man? I just, I've been like working my whole life for something like this. Just being up here with all these guys who are in it, like for for the right reasons. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm not gonna stop moving forward and doing what I'm doing, whatever. Uh, so it's, it's just like so grateful to gone through this week, meet these guys, you know, be standing here with somebody like Grant. I can't even look at this guy over here without, so it's awesome, man, the whole thing. And Graham, how about you? What's going through your mind? Well, I was good until Andy started talking. <laughs> it's like, I just feel so, I have so much inside of me that I can't even, I can't even express it. I'm almost trying to block it out because I'll explode. You know, I'm just trying to hold it together right now. <laughs> well, you guys have been through a really, really tough week but you guys have excelled. This was not an easy decision. You both did great today, but unfortunately we do have to send someone home and name our top trainer. Andy, Graham, the next top trainer is Andy. Congratulations. It means a whole lot to now give me the chance to put my mind, my personality, and my heart out there a little bit more rather than just being a face and a body. You know, I really, really, really wanted it, but that that contrast is something that is probably gonna <laughs> fuel me to, to get there even faster, to work that much harder. These guys are in it for the right reasons, and so I, I just am very appreciative of the fact that I can just, you know, help them and go along with that ride for them. This is another EAS Fit Tip, and one of the things we want most from coaches, leaders, people in our life is motivation, and sometimes it's hard to come by, especially in our fitness. So here's what you do. When you're gonna go in the gym and you're gonna sacrifice that time, you want the best work. Work that not only helps you in the gym, but transfers into your life. How do we do it? Here's a suggestion, make it about something bigger than yourself. There are so many things in your life that matter to you. And don't just say, my mom, my son, this job that I'm working on, soldiers that are fighting you know, overseas for our freedoms, why? Why does that matter to you? Drill down, drill down, keep asking why, rest it at a place that truly lights a fire in your heart, then you dedicate that workout, you dedicate those actions, you honor those exercises for that purpose that's greater than yourself. Your fitness will change and every action matters.